Hey Leo, welcome to my channel and your weekly love reading. This reading is for August 2nd to the 8th and it is a general reading so please only take what messages resonate with you, leave what don't. If this reading does resonate and you want to dive in deeper and see more, there is an extended link in the description. Um, there's also links and information for personal readings if that is something that interests you. I'm going to begin your reading with a card from the Moonology deck to get a message from the universe regarding your love life for the week ahead and then I'm going to dive into your tarot. So Leo, August 2nd to the 8th, what do you need to know about your love life? August 2nd to the 8th, what does the universe want you to know about your love life for the week ahead? Okay, so we have expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, wow, so this is major, so this is literally major, so something huge is going to be occurring for you, a huge change is going to be occurring for you, I feel like this could be very um, unexpected, a um, bit of a wild card energy, um, but there is going to be, there is going to be something very profound that happens within your love life this week. This isn't actually, this is not really surprising because, you know, you guys are all probably, well, yeah, yeah, you are. You guys are having your, um, you guys are having your solar returns right now. So there is going to be big changes as you close up and you begin a new, a new year for yourselves. So let's see what the tarot has for you, Leo, for the week ahead regarding your love life. What do you need to know? Recent past energy surrounding your love life. Present energy surrounding your love life. Near future energy surrounding your love life. Something you need to know Sorry, energy that is guiding you, your energy and your person's energy. Sorry guys, I got distracted there because I was just getting a message that was going through. You're gonna have an, you're gonna meet an angel. <laughs> you're gonna meet an angel, right? You're gonna be having some sort of interaction with an angel, but this is obviously a human, but they're angelic. They are connected to the angelic realm. They operate and channel this angelic energy. That's the level that they're at. They are, um, this person, you're gonna have someone come into your life and meet someone or someone is gonna be around you and you're gonna connect with somebody who operates in the, on the angelic level, on the angelic plane. So they're very high vibrational. They're they're of a high. They so this person is like an, a channel, yeah. So this person, they this person channels energy through them. They just operate. So they just for them this is normal. For this person, this is them just their normal life. But they just live their life and they operate. But they they operate their life and they they think they feel they're inspired by the act. They're a person who channels through higher vibrational inspiration. They're directly connected with the angelic plane, the angelic um, world, the angelic realm, the angelic level. So it's like a higher vibrational level, you know, like it's a higher spiritual planes, and that is the. That is the level of spiritual inspiration that they connect with, that they that they're inspired by, that that drives them, is of a higher vibration. So you're going to meet someone real special um, this week. This doesn't necessarily have to be a love interest, a romantic love interest. This could be just somebody that you connect with. It could be somebody that that becomes a friend. It could be it could be a romantic love interest. It could be somebody that just comes in and helps you, and you know you have a brief moment with this person. 
but this person you will see from this person that there are people in this world okay who live life who are just like you who are just like everybody else but they live life from be, being inspired by a higher spiritual plane a higher spiritual level um a higher vibration and you'll feel it in them you'll feel their energy you'll probably feel tingly and maybe a bit cold like a bit icy um around them like tingly like your hairs will stand on end and this person is here living life in this world because some of you may feel like you're you know you're here in this world and there's all these people and their inspiration you could even be feeling a bit defeated by people and their, the inspiration that they have and their motivation and what drives them is of a lower frequency even spiritual people you know like even spiritual people um, that connect with spirit and that connect to certain frequencies and planes certain people can connect with certain planes and and they can reach certain levels some people have to tune in some people don't have to tune in and they just live life and they're just directly connected and being fed energetically and spiritually from these these levels and these planes. And this person that you're going to meet, they don't have to tune in. They literally operate in this way normally. Like this is just their normal life. They don't have to sit there and meditate and tune in and connect. It runs through them. They're a clean channel. This The energy just literally operates through them, through their human on a daily basis, just naturally, like this is normal for them. It's not nothing forced or nothing that they have to connect to. They're directly connected constantly. And it's of the higher sort of planes, the angelic, the angelic realm, the angelic planes. So this person is here, probably on this earth, this person does a lot of things like um, what you would call, I suppose, soul missions and spiritual missions they work for spirit and they probably do a lot of things a lot of good things and impact people even not even intentionally but them being around somebody or connecting to somebody even touching somebody could do something to that person this person could be like a healer or something like that but not in a way that you know not in the sense of their advertising themselves to be a healer and peddling healing and stuff like that they're like literally they're just they don't bat an eyelid to it it's just their normal way of being and this is someone that you're going to be meeting so uh, sorry for interrupting your tarot reading but this message is coming through real strong to the point where i didn't even know what i was doing there these two cards, I'm going to look at them and just make sure that they are right, that they're in the right order, um, because I was getting this message come through. But this person's going to do something for you, or you're going to connect with this person. They could initiate a healing for you, or they could become part of your new tribe. And this could be even some sort of preparation for you in your own journey, and you connecting with higher realms and becoming part of the team do you know what i mean and, be, and be, being the channel for the higher planes and the higher um the higher vibrations the higher vibrational uh spirit planes spirit rounds i don't quite know how to say it but you, i'm sure you get what i mean i'm sure you get what i'm saying here so this person could be it could be like a bit of an initiation for you um, it, or this person could be coming in to do some sort of healing or they could come in and activate you they could come in and you could it could be like they're coming in and guiding you and you're because you're about to become the channel a channel like them and this could be also like a new friend mentor um part of a new collective of of people that you're going to be moving deeper into connecting with like a, like like a new tribe like you're entering like a new tribe because you've reached a certain level or something or you've 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 connected to a certain level and um or yeah if not this person's coming in to do a job to do a spiritual job whether they're aware of it or not they're probably not even aware of it because it's just normal for them 
but this is kind of what I'm getting here. But anyway, let's get back to your reading. If you're still with me. <laughs> Bottom of the deck. Talking about angels, we've got a Virgo. We've got the hermit at the bottom of the deck here. Okay, recent past energy. We have the page of rods. So there was something new initiated here. A new journey, a new adventure. Um, it, what I'm getting with this is excitement, childlike excitement. This rebirth of... It, Obviously, you're a fire sign. This could be the rebirth of your inner child as well. And going on a journey and an adventure with that child. And, and um, connecting to more sort of childlike ways. Being led by your child, by your inner child. There is a new beginning here for you in the recent past. A new adventure, a new journey that initiated, you were initiated. Present energy, we've got the moon. We have got, I don't even know what day it is, and I don't even keep, I, I, th I think I find out about the moon, like normally it's like the day before I check because I'm doing weird things and I notice that I'm doing like real weird stuff and I'm like, okay, let's see. And it's normally the day before a full moon and it's like some weird sort of, subconscious preparation that I do but there's the full moon in Aquarius as well so whenever you're watching this if that's relevant but here this is an expansion of emotions here there is an expansion here um, a soul expansion an emotional expansion there is there could be a cancer around you um, or you connecting with a cancer, but here there is this big kind of expansion of feeling, an expansion of the feminine energy. There could also be certain mother situations, a mother, certain mother, not not even necessarily issues. It doesn't have to be issues. There could be, you know, a deeper connection with a mother going on right now. There could be things involving a mother or motherhood that's going on here right now um but for you i'm feeling that there is this expansion this emotional expansion a connection a journey so you've begun this journey here with your inner child there's this journey this deeper journey and it's going into emotions now it's like the emotional path right now it is it is um an expansion of your feminine energy. You also might be getting very psychic also around this time. Um, but yeah, you're about to embark on a big kind of emotional, emotional expansion here. Near future energy, we've got the Knight of Rods. How interesting, you go from a page of rods to a Knight of Rods. So you're gaining momentum. You're growing up a little bit here. Um, there could be some nurturing as well that is that is coming in for you presently. Could be from a mother figure. Doesn't have to be your mother. Doesn't it could be just a mother figure. Um, there is some sort of again with this angelic energy. You could get. I want to say it's weird. You could get touched by somebody that activates some type of expansion or something in you emotionally here. Um, but here, you're gaining some momentum, you're growing up, you're maturing, and you, you're, your journey is getting quicker. You may also receive something in the near future, some sort of tools or something, something useful um, for, moving, for moving forward. You could even receive a new vehicle, you might even get a new vehicle in the near future, okay, which can, make, which can help you to actually physically travel uh, quicker and further and if you do get a, vis a, f uh, a vehicle in the 3d then this is going to be also something that is a represent a physical representation of something that is going on inside of you energetically where you are moving quicker and further upon your own journey this even though this is a love reading here this is very much about you this is just literally about you here you're going through a big change. Expect powerful change. You're going through a major change here. So the energy that is guiding you 
is the Seven of Swords. You are going for what you want and you're, le you're leaving what doesn't serve you. So you're being a bit selfish here. There's a bit of a selfish energy that is going on. Um, there could also be a lesson that comes up. There might be a lesson as well here in regards to moving quickly. There could be some sort of lesson that arises for you in regards to moving too quick with someone and then needing to learn the values of slowing down and 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 carefully considering moves that you make. For others of you, you are literally going to start moving more into a direction that you want to go in and you're going to be leaving something behind and letting go of something here. I'm going to explore this more in the extended. Something you need to know, we've got the seven, it's interesting because there are two sevens, this is a message from the divine, the seven of pentacles about being present, about patience, about cultivating. Definitely for some of you guys, there's going to be a lesson here about moving too quick. This could be in regards to a, con a connection, a person, but I feel this is more so different lessons within yourself. I feel like this reading, although it's a love reading, it's about you as an individual and you are you're needing to learn or see um, some type of value and abundance in where you're at and, and, and being slower and cultivating where you are instead of moving forwards quickly in another direction or moving further away. It's, there's something here that's of value. There's something that will give you a lot of value as well. Could be to do with um, work or money or something that you've been building as well or something that you've been doing um you need to be aware of that and still pay attention to something don't just move up further away from something you've been giving your energy to because it's going to pay off something will pay off for you your energy this week is the three of wands so you are wanting to move forwards you're wanting to see where you're going next and you're manifesting and drawing something to you So you're working with spirit a lot at the moment. You're excited, you're wanting to move quicker. You really want to move real quicker and your kind of wish is getting granted. But you do need to know um, and be aware of being present and really cultivating what you have been um, working upon. Don't just leave it behind because there's something that you've been doing which is very valuable. Your person's energy is the Three of Cups. Your reading is like a bit crazy here. Page of Rods, Knight of Rods, it's two Sevens, two Threes. You're the Three of Wands. Your person is the Three of Cups. Your person's having some fun, your person's socialising, your person is connecting with other people and having some good times and having some fun and bringing in some fun here into their life. They could be dating, they could be just having fun with friends here. They're very much interested in other people and socialising. I'm going to go and take this to the extended now because I want to see what is going on with you and your person. I want to see more about you and your person because I feel like this reading here isn't so much about them. I feel like this is about you. I want to know more about this. I want to see what it is that you're wanting and what it is that's coming towards you. But I want to see more about this dynamic here. I want to know what they're doing and how they're feeling in their life. But feel free to join me. If this resonates with you, feel free to join me. I do want to see where you're heading to here after this uh, the link is in the description if you want to come and join me if not thank you for watching guys and i'll see you next week take care